Hey Collective, I hope y'all are doing well. Um, this is going to be a general reading for the Collective. So this is for all signs, you know, anyone who comes across the video here. I'm going to be doing three different, um, I, I guess you, I guess it doesn't have to be topics per se. Um, I'm just pulling three of these. We're going to see what we get and how I'm going to be reading here for you today, Collective. to the side for now and we'll see what we have next six months okay collective we're going over your next six months here that's what we're doing first and I'm going to use modern witch for that Next six months for the collective. Next six months for the collective. Okay, so the upcoming month is looking like what? This is looking like what? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have the death card here. Scorpionic energy. Um, a big change. Okay, for some of you, there could be an ending coming up uh, in the upcoming month here. You have the hair font. Okay, could be an end to something that you have been um, very committed to. Okay, or it's like, this doesn't always have to be something... Um, you know, bad. It doesn't have to mean that this is something you really wanted coming to an end. But the hair font can sometimes talk about things that keep us in a box. You know, it places us under uh, certain rules that we may not want to follow. You know, um, when the hair font shows up, this can be like uh, what society uh, expects of you. This can represent like religion, um, you know, long term beliefs, things that basically keep you, um, you know, between. You know, they keep you in the box here pretty much. So there could be an end to that coming in the next month. Um, and nobody's safe from this. You know, with the uh, with the death card showing up, nobody is safe from that, okay? From that change uh, that's coming, okay? There's an end coming. In the death card, the king is trampled. Like, there is a big change coming and nobody is safe from it, okay? And it's a change for the better. I really do feel that. Um... Even if it feels a little chaotic, yeah, Eight of Swords, even if it feels a little chaotic in the moment, it's like you know that this has to leave. Um, but I think the reason that things feel chaotic is because it's like, where do we go from here? Um, so that's what I'm feeling there within the next month collective. Uh, it's kind of working through a big change, a big ending, a big uh, shift, okay? So <clears throat> what do we got for the following month? What do we got for the following month for my collective? Five of Swords. Okay, see, now, in the Five of Swords, you'll notice the figure in the front there looking back. Okay, she's looking back at, um, you know, there's a figure back here who's weeping in the background. You may not be able to see that, but um, if you'll see the pink shirt right there in the background, this figure's weeping. This one's standing up a little bit taller, like trying to make sense of things, you know, and this one in the front uh, knows very well why this had to happen. So uh, some of you, this could represent different people around you who are in, uh, who are all in different stages when it comes to this big change. You know, you could have people in your life who they understand and support you completely, and then you have people who who are like, uh, I don't really get it, but it's not my, you know, it's, it's not, I don't have to get it, you know, and then you could have people in your life who are really upset about this change that's being made, um, but that could also represent you, uh, different stages that you've been in in regards to this change, and now you're looking back and saying, wow, well, I understand now why that had to happen, okay, lots of eyes on you, um, lots of eyes on you in the next two months, yeah, you have the page of swords and the knight of pentacles, specifically an air sign or a Virgo here, specifically an air sign or a Virgo, I'm so sorry that y'all can't even see those, oh man, struggling here but um yeah you know specifically an air sign or a virgo has some eyes on you now there could be a little bit of uh back and forth energy here um mentally is what i feel like saying like somebody comes and goes uh when it comes to your thoughts like they just pop into your thoughts randomly i feel like it could be because this person has their eye on you here like i feel like they feel very strongly connected to you energetically okay they want to make some kind of offer but uh they're very cautious in doing so um you know, I do feel like this is someone that you already uh, have a past with, okay? Uh, for others of you, I feel like you're slowly, but sh like you move on from something rather quickly, but it's it's almost as if 
where you're going, this is only the beginning because the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy. So let's look here. How about that third month? How about that third month for my collective? Cups and the Page of Wands. Okay, so that third month, let's see. We got him in here, got him in the frame. You know what? I'm actually going to lay this over here. Um, yeah, so the Page of Pentacles showing up here in that third month. I do think that some of you, you could be getting a lot of different opportunities in regards to work or business, okay? Um, but I mainly feel as if you have a lot of eyes on you. Like, things are becoming so much more stable. Like I said, you've made this big change, so you're moving into a different energy. Like, there is just something different about you. You're radiating a different uh, type of vibe. So, of course, you are attracting different people. And some of those are going to be people who are searching for the old you. They're going to be people who are trying to figure out the new you, right? Um, some of you, there are going to be people who come in who see your potential uh, long before you do. So, that's something you want to be careful with. You know, there could be somebody here who's like uh, attaching themselves to you so they can ride your coattails later. So, be mindful of that collective. Um, I feel like a lot of new doors are opening for you in work and in business and uh, you could have a lot of eyes on you. You have two pages here, uh, fire signs, earth signs, um, but you also have the seven of cups which can represent new doors opening, okay? <clears throat> but really exciting time there in that third month. I feel like there's a big focus on your vision, on new projects. Um, it's exciting. It really is. So what else do we have? Fourth month. Fourth month. Fourth month. Knight of Cups. Six of Wands. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, yeah. It's taking a lot of work here. <coughs> Collective, that fourth month. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. One second. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to deal with it until after I'm done. <coughs> Okay, so uh, Knight of Cups showing up here. This can represent a dream or a vision, <clears throat> inspiration, a goal that you have here. We got Pisces energy. And then you have the Six of Wands. So I feel like in that fourth month, this is truly starting to come to life for you. Like people are actually seeing it. You're seeing it play out in the physical here. Some of you, this could have just simply been a goal to find someone, to find someone uh, who suits you. Because the Knight of Cups, it can be a lover. <clears throat> it can be a lover, but it mainly feels like it's goal related. And then you have the Ten of Wands here. It's still a lot of work, okay? So don't allow yourself to uh, get lazy, okay? Is what I feel like saying in that fourth month. Once you start to hit success, there may be an urge to, you know, just kind of sit back, okay? And I feel like that could potentially move you backwards, or it's at least not moving you where you want to be, collective. So um, I want you to keep that in mind here as well. Keep going, keep pushing. Don't lose the momentum in that fourth month, okay? Same with a connection. It's really exciting in the beginning. Make sure that you're not losing that passion you keep putting in the work, okay? Some of you, that's going to be some uh, something that uh, leads to marriage later on down the road. We have that six of wands. How about that fifth month for my collective? The emperor. Someone who's very secure and stable. The three of wands. Ooh, and the Four of Cups. Okay, Three of Wands. Um, Golden Dawn Designers call that card Lord of Established Strength. And I wish I could remember which sign got something like this. Uh, I think it was one of the fixed signs um, who pulled that Three of Wands. And I got the same energy from that Three of Wands because it's somebody who has, uh, you know, been through a lot. They've been through a lot. And the universe is rewarding this person in the Three of Wands because they had the courage to move. You know, in the Two of Wands, it's like he's got a plan. So it's like you've got the plan, but in that fifth month, they're saying carry out that plan. Don't get stuck in this rut where it's all just a fantasy, where it's all just a dream. Uh, you've got to take action towards these things, and they are going to reward you, okay? It doesn't mean that there won't be challenges, okay? 
Um, but they're saying don't give up at the first, second, or even third challenge. You know, if it's something you really want, stick to it. Okay, that's what the emperor does. So let's go ahead. And, and that's how he's so secure and stable. Let's go ahead and look at that six month. Some of you, you may have an Aries. <clears throat> You may have an Aries or someone who has their moon in Cancer uh, who's a little bit upset here in that fifth month um, with something that you're doing, some kind of success or attention that you're getting. All right, how about that six month? <clears throat> six month for my collective. Six month for my collective. What do we have? The Ace of Pentacles. The world and the death card <laughs> yeah and you know that's not the first change you know when it comes to that death that death card showed up first it showed up first and it's interesting because that's what you started with and that's what you're ending with it's like the changes aren't going to stop coming you're going to keep getting offers okay things are going to continue to get more and more serious for you because you you are genuinely having success here collective um it looks like it's involving work or business it could involve a move maybe a move is what's really going to set this off for you for some of you that could be what's happening it's like this is the area where i'm going to have the most opportunity to grow uh, so some of you, that's what's going on with the world. And that six month, you may end up <clears throat> buying a house, signing a lease, signing a contract of some sort here. Um, but it mainly feels like you are changing status. Uh, your title is changing. The way that people uh, are seeing you is changing, okay? Because you have changed and the changes aren't going to stop there. So that's important to recognize. Like you're only getting a little taste of what it is that you're meant to do here in the next six months. It's only a little taste. So yeah, absolutely don't let it stop there, okay? Because there's so much more for you. So let's see what the next one is here. Next unexpected surprise. So I'm going to use a different deck for this here. Your next unexpected surprise. Um, let me see, what do I want to use? I think I might just use regular Rider weight. All right, let me see here. <clears throat> What's the next unexpected surprise for my collective? Next unexpected surprise for my collective here. Um, so this really feels like choice to me. Um, there's going to be a big choice that comes up for you guys. Okay, we got two. Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Ooh. Yeah. Very interesting because for those of you who don't know, I read on TikTok as well. I read on Instagram too, but um, the links are down below if you're interested in following me over on those platforms, by the way. But, um, you know, with the... Uh, moon card showing up here. I find that so interesting. It was the very same deck and everything um, because you have the dog on one side of the path. You have the wolf on the other um, and you know the dog represents your like domestic side and the wolf represents your more wild side, you know? So it's really, I feel like your most or your next unexpected surprise is involving uh, a big change to move out of what's safe, to move away from what's safe, what you've always known and to move towards something different, something new, okay? Um, what is this? Some of you, this could be moving out of material trouble you know moving out of lack it's like some of you, you might fear success because you've never had it so it's like well can I handle it if I get it you know or what if I go all this way and I, and I fail at it right there's a, there's a lot of those fears coming in and you're choosing to do it anyhow five of wands mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, emotional conflict as well that I see working through here yeah, you're going to be surprised at where that gets you. Some of you, it's like you're trying out a new way of living. You're trying out a new way of being. And look at this. The moon and the sun. The difference is like night and day. You go from being hidden to being out in the open. People are noticing you. They are, uh, you know, flocking towards you. you got that ace of cups. Some of you, it's simply you're changing your approach. You're changing your attitude about money, about love, uh, you know, about movement, about fear. Whatever the case may be here. This attitude change, it's like... I'll give anything a shot. That's the energy that I fill you in is I'll give anything a shot at this point. 
as long as I can stop feeling like this. And you give it a shot and it works so much easier than I think you had imagined, Collective. It works so much easier than I think you had imagined, okay? what you don't see coming. <laughs> oh, wait, that's pretty much what we just did, but I guess uh, another message is meant to come through here. So we're going to do a different deck. Let me actually do... Hmm. Okay, I'll do this one here. What does the collective not see coming? does a collective not see coming? What's coming for the collective that they're not seeing? Oof, goodness gracious. <laughs> I saw the fool there in that stack. The fool. Really, I feel there's a lot of courage. Um, you know, and it's not that that courage is, is coming out of nowhere. I feel like this is really inspiration. Like you're inspired to move towards something. Um, but you know, you've, you've always had the courage. It's just not been awakened until this point in time. And there we have the moon. Of course we have the moon. Um, some of you, it's like, there's, yeah, there's going to be a move for some of you here. Absolutely. We have this star and that move is going to bring a lot of wish fulfillment for you collective. Uh, it's not even just because this is, this is something I've always wanted. I've always wanted to get out of this place and move here and do this and do that. And that's not necessarily why it's going to bring wish fulfillment. I think that you move to a new area and you realize, well, wow, I should have been here all along. You know, so I think for a lot of you, um, that's what's happening here. Like if you've been looking for love and you, you feel like you can't find it, you move here, you find love. Okay, you move here, uh, you find that job you were wanting or there's a better opportunity in the field you're in to make more money, right? Could be something like that. You have the page of swords. Somebody's expressing hidden emotion here. Yeah, uh, an air sign or a water sign. So that's something else you don't see coming. I have uh, temperance here as well. So there's definitely someone who's trying to heal something with you, express some secrets to you. Yeah, eight of wands. Expect some messages here. Expect some messages here. Like somebody is definitely trying to get back in your good graces. I still feel like with that moon card showing up though, there's a lot that you don't know collective, okay? So, um, yeah, that is what I'm seeing for you. I want you guys to watch out for your individual signs if you would like, okay? And, um, what else, what else? I don't have personals open for any of you who are wondering. I have closed out personals, but you can follow me on Patreon. You can I read for each individual sign over there as well. Um, you can join me over on TikTok and on Instagram. I read for the elements and daily energies over there. And of course, you could also check out my tarot course if you're interested in learning how to read the tarot uh, for yourself. If you're interested in learning from me, I should say. Um, but anyhow, Collective, if this is where we part, uh, I do want to thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you, and I will We'll see you next time. Bye.